Hey guys, Clint Brown here. You know, I just got in the office and normally these videos that I send out are positive, but today I've got to uh, get after somebody in a behavior I see way too often. I was just coming through the intersection uh, north of my office, about two blocks, and I look to my left, I'm making a left turn, I look to my left, and there's a mom, there's a guy driving the car, and there's a mom, I assume the mom in the back seat of a car, and she's, because traffic's slow, I'll go slow enough, I got time to watch this. She takes what looks to be quite a young baby out of the car seat and then get it ready to nurse while they're driving. And, you know, this frustrates me on several levels, not just because I have a kid who's that age, but because so many parents are completely stupid when it comes to traveling with their kids in the car. I mean, I, I, I still see kids standing up in the car. In fact, I was, I was riding my bike down the hill to my house. I, t I typically commute on my bike in the summer. And this hill steep, so I end up going about the same speed as the vehicles. And I look to my left, and there's a guy who's driving his, his Taurus or whatever, and he's got like a three-year-old standing in the middle, and he's got his arm around her. And she's obviously standing based on her body motions. And I just want to pull this guy over and punch him in the face. And these people, I'm thinking, do you realize that just because you're at a, a, you know, an intersection, that that's not necessarily <laughs> It's still not safe. I mean, the only time I've been rear-ended in my entire life was after I'd set through a stopped light at an intersection. The person behind me rear-ended me because they thought the light turned green. And that was a huge jolt. You know, if, if the car hit them at just 15 miles an hour, that car's going 22 feet a second, right? Well, are you serious? Do you realize what happens when a car, have you ever been in a car wreck? Like when you get hit, all the loose stuff in the car goes flying like bullets. Well, what do you think happens to that 12 pound baby? Becomes a projectile at just 15 miles an hour, right? I, I, it just really frustrates me. And I'm sure if you're watching this, it frustrates you too. People don't be stupid with your kids in the car. I mean, this is not 1950. You know, or my dad, he, he has, my grandparents have this terrible story. My dad standing in the back seat, no seat belts, early 1950s, and they got rear-ended. And my dad went flying through him, busted his face open on the dash because there weren't seat belts, right? And that's, let's not be stupid, folks. We've got really nice cars that are really, really I don't understand the point of you buying a really family-safe car and then not buckling your kid in so that the car works. You realize it's not safe if they're not buckled in. Like, it doesn't work. I don't care if you're driving a Volvo. The kid's going to die if you get hit, if the kid's not strapped into its car seat. Just put the kid in the car seat and leave it there. I don't care if it's crying. It'll make it. There's a lot of babies that cry and make it. You cried. Your mom let you cry. It's good exercise, right? Kids don't have any way to relieve stress but to cry and nurse. So let them cry. They'll make it to the office or to the daycare or grandma's or back home or wherever the heck you're going. Just put the kid in the car seat. Quit being so stupid when it comes to driving around with your kids not in a car seat. If you're watching this and you don't have your kids in a car seat, you're an idiot. Put your kids in a car seat. They'll survive. Give them a coloring book. Um, they'll make it the four miles or whatever it is to wherever you're going. Um, all right.